Hey babes, it's me, Sadie. So I'm here to talk to you about INFJs. It's our favorite personality type. So if you're new here, welcome. Don't forget to subscribe. You're going to see a lot of eclectic randomness and more on the INFJ. I also heard that's what cool people do. If you're a returning viewer, welcome back. And I missed you since the last video. So today, like I said, we're going to talk about the INFJ by an INFJ. So to summarize, the INFJ is the world's rarest of the 16 types in the MBTI, also known as the Meyer Briggs. So the INFJ is deep, emotional, private, different, like really different. Um, they call us advocates, the counselors, the sages. Pretty much where the square pegs at Steve Job reference in that famous quote. Uh, so for context, better known INFJs include Martin Luther King Jr. and Jane Goodall. They happen to be personal heroes of mine long before I knew that we even like share this personality type. Um, even Oprah and Gandhi. Unfortunately, Hitler. Uh, yeah, I said the H word. Um, so since we bore easily and we like to dive right into the data, let's talk about the 13 dominant traits of an INFJ. At least from personal experience, being that I am one. So I've tested a total of 13 times. Um, being an INFJ, like I keep track of everything, so I know that it's been 13 tests. The first was in college where I tested ENFJ. So it's kind of like more of an extrovert. Um, and the 12 times after that, I sporadically tested throughout the years since uh, college graduation. And I've been an INFJ every single time, so it's really consistent. So these are pretty much things I've noticed in myself and the one to three other true INFJs that I've ever met in my life. And um, keep in mind, you're not going to meet many. You just won't. And that's the beauty of it all. Number one, in tune intuition. Yeah, we're very intuitive, internally and outwardly. Um, a lot of genuine empaths that you run across in this world are INFJs. Please note, there is a big difference between being empathetic and being an empath. Like the INFJ because it's so rare, a lot of people are jumping on that empath bandwagon too. So INFJs, we're super, super in tune. Uh, we see, and yes, we feel things. Number two, empathetically empathetic. And sure, some of us are empaths too. I mean, as an INFJ, we feel so, so deeply. A lot of the world will like, put a label on it and it'll be in like the DSM-4. But meanwhile, we're just, we feel deeply, we're passionate. Our wounds open easily. Okay, well, sometimes, depending on the depth of our connection with you. But we do, we do cry a lot. Um, kids sharing food from their lunch trays, yeah, our eyes are gonna well up. Animal shelter commercial with Sarah McLaughlin in the background, um, yeah, Onion City. We are the type to just tear up on a park bench. Wanna know why? Because we're listening to the orchestra of children's laughter carried by the breeze. I mean, we're gonna tell you that a gnat flew in our eye, but yeah, we're crying. Number three, uh, we prefer one-on-one -on -one or small intimate gatherings with substance rather than crowds. One on one because we value true connection, stuff. Um, intimate because we don't like to talk about the weather. Now, what creates that weather? We were onto something. And let's ditch the booze in the bars. That's like super boring. Let's grab some hot cocoa. Let's go start a fire by a lake beneath a blanket of twinkling stars. See, date night with an INFJ, it has nothing to do with bling or fancy dinners. That's like useless to us. We want memories. 
we want to feel you. Take us to a bubbling brook in a field of weeping willow trees, and let's have a picnic. And four, poetic. Not only do we value communication, we value prose. We see the symbolism everywhere, and we realize the lessons are bountiful, if only we're wise enough to see. We contemplate everything, and we put a, a warm, fuzzy spin on it. Where are the type to go? What gives you goosebumps? And chuckle as you pull back because nobody in your life has ever asked you that before. Some people think it's weird. Some think we're fake, like we're trying to be some sort of guru. But we really want to know. What gives you goosebumps? Side note, when it comes to this, because we're so about getting to know you and affirming you, I mean, don't kiss our ass. But if we tell you we see the depths of the ocean in your eyes, we're not looking for an, oh my God, you too. But we do expect to thank you. But, okay, we're not like some cute pink fuzzy bunny. We're not the energizer we need to recharge. It's not personal. It's not you. It's us. If there's an issue, the mature INFJ will tell you bluntly. If we love you, we'll even, you know, sugarcoat it a little bit so it doesn't wreck your night. We're introverts for a reason. Um, see, we're not necessarily huge fans of the whole human thing. Um, the vibration, it kind of weighs a lot. Let's just say it's not part of our sage-ish mojo nutrition plan. Six, we are the whisperer. No, not the animal whisperer or the nature whisperer or the children whisperer. We're like all of it. We are the whisperer. We'll be sitting on a bench, earbuds jammed in our ears, dark sunglasses clinging to our faces, book jammed up our nostrils. And you'll still sit down beside us and spill the synopsis of your life. Not like the cool elevator pitch or the back cover copy synopsis of your life, like the long version. And we're not dicks, so we'll probably just listen. Underneath those dark shades, we're like, what the fuck, rolling our eyes. Um, because we're thinking this book, shit was just getting good. You know, we're lost in the universe between the covers. We just bought the thing at Barnes & Noble, and we, we know we're gonna kill it in two days flat, but here you are, you know? You know, like, we'll be walking along the pond, and the dragonflies will just be like chasing us and chilling with us by the lily pads. Like shit is unreal sometimes. You know, you don't want to go backpacking through the wilderness with an INFJ. You're not going to catch any sleep. Because one day, someday, they're going to be the whisperer. And then I'll have one question for you. Did you pack the bear spray? Seven. Supersonic mode. I just don't know another way to put it. Our brains are like rapid fire, like pew, 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 like it's always going. So people do view the INFJ as an intellectual. But we're not geniuses. You know, we're not in Mensa. Um, we're clever. I mean, we are intellectuals. Okay. How do I say this? Fuck it. Just say it how it is, right? Um, we're super fucking smart. But we earned that right to say so. We put in the legwork. We did our research. Because we're so curious and so exploratory and investigatory by nature, we just want to know it all. Um, if we don't have the answer, we're going to find it. And the only way we're going to speak up for help is if we hit a dead end in our research. For example, when something is outside of our scope, 
we haven't gone there yet. Eight. High hopes. Low expectations. We've been around the hypothetical human block. We know it's a dog-eat-dog -dog world. The mature INFJ has checked herself. She's owned her shit. She's left her ego at the door. She's evolved. See, if you're good to an INFJ, we feel so grateful that we go overboard and quadruple it. And then we're kind of left hanging with your one. Hence, our low expectations. You know, if we love you, at least acknowledge that love, even if it's not reciprocated. We love you anyway. I mean, it's conditional, keep in mind. Okay, stay tuned for the darker side of the INFJ. We're gonna get there. Nine. Robert Frost wrote a poem about us. See, as an INFJ, we take the path less traveled. When the crowd goes left, we bang a sharp right. Even if we're wearing heels and that shit calls for trail runners. See, most of the time, our path is a little bumpy. It's broken. Okay, it's ratchet as fuck. But we walk it alone, and honestly, it's a damn shame. The beautiful, glorious things everybody misses out on damn shame. It's a shame. Somebody should totally write a song about it. Ten. Pussies. No, wait. Pansies. Not so much pussies. Okay. The clean version, we are not risk takers. You'll be like, let's go 90 on my motorcycle and pop wheelies. And we're like, uh, let's not. Me, I'm too busy thinking of my future ABC jam stash with my three-year-old niece to worry about like my helmet crashing against the concrete. Um, shit y'all, a paper cut hurts. I mean, I gave birth without medication. That was like self-harm. I'm good with adrenaline overload. Eleven, we're the shiny gems at any job and it pisses people off. Even at the blah jobs, we're like the ones pushing that room better, mopping that shit even shinier. You know, we're over here pushing the buttons on the cash register the fastest with the most accuracy. Our receipts are the cleanest. Our tills are the tidiest. We're dotting all the I's. All those pesky T's. Yeah, you're welcome. We're crossing them. Meanwhile, you're getting all the credit for it. We're INFJs. The Sages member, um, the peacekeepers. So we'll let you and you'll accept the credit because, well, you're not an INFJ. And how about it? So well, we oh, yawn easily. No, it's not because we're tired. Because we're sick and tired of your bland bullshit. If you want to woo an INFJ or be tight with one, because trust, you want us in your corner. Because we're fucking idiots. We like defend our own enemies. Wanna know why? Because we see the bigger picture, even if that big picture makes us want to bark. But listen, be original. We're boo to overcrowded strangers with weird smells of onion bagels beneath their armpits. Beer breath because some asshole forgot their gum at home. Instead, we want to, you know, buy a tent at the Goodwill with our last five bucks and head north. Pitch tent and mountains, some spooky forest. Just camp out for shits and, and shits. And we'll giggle too because we like fun shit like that because we, we know how to fucking party. 
13. Too keen of observers. Do you secretly hate us? We feel it. Roll your eyes at us. <laughs> we caught it. Lying your dick off. We know your secret. You've probably heard of the INFJ stare. I call it a penetrative, all-knowing gaze. People tell me my eyes look like they've seen a lot or hold a wisdom beyond my years. Employers have told me my eye contact was so good during the interview, it made them wonder like how on point they were. Boyfriends have admitted lying was difficult because I'm a walking lie detector test. In Zion FJs, we naturally smile. Tyra Banks would be proud. All right, so there you have it, the 13 dominant traits out of many of the INFJ personality type. As an INFJ, a Gemini, a counselor who originally went to university for documentary filmmaking and to be a high school English teacher but changed paths, and as a writer since I was eight, it was written in the stars for me. As you'll see in your beloved INFJ, it, whatever it may be, was written in the stars for them too. So don't forget to hit that like button or dislike because we believe in freedom of choice and subscribe. Share this video with other INFJers on knowing them. They'll appreciate it. So see you next time, you gems of the world. Not to be corny, but somebody needed to remind you today that you matter. You're one of the silk threads in the grand web, and I'm really fucking glad our universes collided. Only then can new worlds be born. I'm ever so grateful you're here. I wish you peace. I encourage you to never dim your shimmer and to sparkle bright everywhere you go. Peace.